more than 200 years later. In about 630 AD, another Buddhist monk set off from China to India. His name was Huang Sang. He had to leave China in secret, having been refused a travel permit by the emperor. His local guide abandoned him and he was forced to cross the desert alone on horseback. In this perilous journey, on way to India, wild tribesmen shot at him with their arrows, and Huan Sun lost both his water bag and his way. Eventually, he reached Hami. He resumed his journey after a few days of recovery. Things improved once he reached India. Wang San visited many Buddhist sites and worshipped the relics of Buddha. When Wang San visited North India, Harshavardhan, a noble ruler, ruled most of it. Wang San greatly admired Harsha and Harsha gave him the highest academic award. He spent many happy days in his court. He later spent time at the great Buddhist monastery of Nalanda, where he studied Sanskrit, philosophy, and the Buddhist holy texts. Huang San found India a less peaceful place than Fai Yan did. He was robbed by bandits twice and almost sacrificed to the goddess Durga by a band of robbers as he sailed down the Ganges River. Huang San returned to China in 645 AD after staying in India for about 15 years. On his way back, he visited the colossal statues of the Buddha in Bamiyang. This has now been destroyed by the Talibans when they were in power in Afghanistan. The story goes that Huan Sang needed 20 horses to carry back all the Buddhist manuscripts and statues he had collected. He spent the rest of his life translating the texts and writings he collected from India. 